Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Authority back again with another video. Uh, today, guys, we are reacting, or at least I will be reacting, to the Destiny 2 Lightfall Neo Muna environment trailer just launched uh, about a few minutes ago, right before the reset for Destiny 2. If you guys are watching this video right now, when it just came on, I should be online playing Destiny 2 right now. If you guys want to go over and check me out, that will be at twitch.tv slash the authority down below in the description of this video. Also, if you guys make it all the way to the end of this video, please make sure you leave that comment hashtag full watch down below. Uh, so that way I will shoot, shout you guys out on my Twitter. Just make sure, obviously, if uh, your YouTube uh, username is not the same as your Twitter username, that you leave that down below as well to know so I can give you guys the proper shout out. Also, guys, please make sure that if you do enjoy the video, that you hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on for future content. Keep coming back for more, as I do appreciate, guys. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. New Muna Environment Trailer for Destiny 2 Lightfall. Just look at this place. We always thought we were the last ones left. Ooh, looks good. Looks beautiful. Wait, the Vex are here as well? Welcome to Neptune, Nightmare. I hope we can find common ground. New Cloud Strider. Enemies. Okay, that's dope. Callus is ready to annihilate this city. Stand with me to defend the Amuna. Wait, and its wait people. a minute. Hold on. Okay, first of all, I, I don't mean to keep going back, guys. I'll try not to do that so much. First of all, I do want to take a full look at the new armor. Love the new armor set. The fact because we got a glimpse of it in the past trailers, but I like the way it looks. Uh, Neomuna looks beautiful. Uh, Cloud Strider. Oh, there's actually two Cloud Striders. The one right there, and then the one past him. That look, they look dope as hell. So there's more than one, obviously. So it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, what the, how they categorize and everything like that. Uh, looks just from the initial, if you guys look close at the Guardians, it looks like we can see some of their weapons. Obviously you have the, um, the exotic pre-order rifle in, I think that is the Warlock's Hands Titan up front. Appears to be rocking, I think. I'm guessing that might be the pulse rifle from one of the previous trailers. And then the guy, the one behind him looks like he might be rocking either a... Could be an AR or... Or a auto rifle or maybe a grenade launcher. I hope we can find common we'll ground. Oh, oh, here we go. That's a much better shot. Um, Might be a different shot then because, first of all, if that's supposed to be like Callus's new form when he's done, that's kind of goofy looking from at least this angle. He's common enemies. But it definitely looks beautiful. Callus is ready to annihilate this city. Stay. Now these little guys, these little guys right here. Hold on, I want to back up a little bit. I reckon I recognize these guys, and uh, everybody kind of should if we played obviously uh light or um beyond light. The that's the little thing that was in one of the first trailers for Beyond Light next to Elizabeth. We haven't seen these. It wasn't even really in Beyond Light. There were none, none of these guys floating around Beyond Light, nor have we seen any of them in The Witch Queen. So, were they... I guess this was a teaser from the very beginning, or who knows? I mean... So, and that's interesting because Elizabeth's character has always said that she does fight for humanity, but she's obviously never been directly related to being Guardian or uh, having access to the light. So... If she's like um, the same coercion with the Cloud Striders, that would make a lot of sense. So cool to see these little guys back, and interesting that they make that Stand with me correlation. To the Amuna and its people. Ooh. Oh, the landscapes are beautiful looking. That is gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so looks like we're getting, uh, this is the inside of Callus' pyramid ship, obviously. We have uh, kind of, you know, this this looks kind of giving me a little bit of uh, the menagerie. I think that's what it was. What was that? It was like, see, it was the season right before um, uh, Shadow Keep. Yeah, I think that was the menagerie. Wasn't that the activity where we got to go inside and go through all the different rooms and the boss battles and things like that? I'm somebody comment down below if that's if that's what I'm thinking it is. Where 
the menagerie is what I'm, I'm getting big menagerie vibes from this. I mean, obviously, there is some, uh, obviously, some aspects and inspiration based off the pyramid ships, like the staircases and the, uh, the like the block structure. But this is definitely giving me more menagerie vibes than pyramid ship. What is that you? Okay, obviously, some more reflections from. So it looks like this is this definitely is more pyramid ship vibe because if uh, we kind of remember this from the pyramid ship, uh, the kind of encased enemies or whatever this is, from the pyramid ship that is on or near Zavathun's throne world uh, that you go into per, for the preservation mission. My tenacious little guardian. Oh wait, hold on! I want to see that room again. That looked dope. Some sort of command center, I would think. So good. Okay, and we get another good close-up of the new Shadow Armada. I gotta say, I like the, the color scheme for the Shadow Army. The Shadow Armada, whatever they're called, they look really, really dope. You know, we've been constantly used the classic red, the purple or bluish. I'm, I'm guessing that's more purple, but the purple color scheme, the purple and gold, I actually really do like that so color scheme. To be tonight's and more strand oh god now that's ter that is terrifying i want to get that shot right there that is terrifying looking that is i that's um i think what is a tor uh, torment torment i don't remember if they're called tormentors or dominators i think tormentor i'm thinking dominators from the uh, from like the <laughs> dc comics but tormentor that is terrifying looking. They made him look really good. Oh god. Yeah, that's where that close-up was again. That, you know, it can pull you in. Grappling hook when strand. Is this all? Oh, okay, hold on. Back up. I want to see that location. What is... Wait, are we returning into the... This looks like, um... Uh, the, the Vex universe when we go in Season of the Splicer. I guess it's all, I guess it is, makes sense, it's all kind of tying in together, but that is dope, the way that looks. That's pretty cool if we get to use the splicer gauntlet or the splicer axis like we did, uh, to go into this realm and everything. That's actually really cool looking. This all the traveler's chosen guardians Oh, wait, hold on, I saw that. Wait, 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 I want to see that again. I think, that's a strand-based finisher, isn't it? Chosen guardians Oh, that I like that was pretty cool where he whipped it back and launched it into him. That is dope. That was a pretty cool move. Oh, I want to say that one again. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. And obviously the new weapon. Got some tank action. Okay. <laughs> you cannot escape oblivion. Embrace the end. Gotta say, that looks really, really cool. They definitely made this trailer look good. Yeah, the Quicksilver Storm. I couldn't remember what the name of the the uh, pre-order weapon was, but that's what this uh, that's what this Titan has right here, the Quick Storm. Which I will say, honestly, I haven't really been using it since uh, the pre-order came out. I mean, it's, it's a fun, it's a unique and different exotic. Um, Personally, if I'm going to put an exotic in my kinetic slot for day one with this, I'm probably just going to use Wither Horde. Probably with a, <laughs> probably a bunch of people are going to. Um, but I got to say some highlights from this just to kind of highlight. I mean, that's that that still just looks such like a fun, a funky statue to have. If that's supposed to be Callus's new form. Uh, the transition was pretty cool. It was aspect. Um, obviously, we get to see a little more of the Tormentor action in this scene. I do want to just kind of clip through these last couple of clips real quick just to see if I can see any little tidbits. Obviously, you guys can uh, go back through the footage yourself and see if there's anything that you guys spot that I obviously missed. Let me know. I would love to know you guys what you guys find. At the same time, I will obviously make sure to leave a link to the uh, a link to the original video down below in the description so you guys can go back and watch it for yourself without, you know, if you don't like my face cam, whatever. Don't hate you if you want to see the full thing yourselves. Um, it looks like the hunt, uh, the hunter on the top, I know that's the hunter, has some weapon. I, it's hard to see, and you guys may have to zoom in for yourselves to see it. To me, it almost looks like it could be a, maybe a shotgun or a scout rifle. Actually, no, 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 my mistake. Because if you guys see the, the, um, 
I think that's a the warlock slide on the ground there. That weapon that looks to be actually, you know what? No, that that might be a pulse rifle. At first, I thought it was a shotgun, but the, the problem is it's so hard to tell what some of these weapons are from a distance. But yeah, <laughs> and that is one, and that is a pretty menacing shot right there too. All of that that's pretty menacing. How big that? Wait, and actually, hold on. Is that what I think it is? Actually. <laughs> Wait, that's, um, that's not a pyramid ship. That's actually a, uh, another almighty. Wait, oh my, is, is he planning on doing what he, with the almighty like they did in a few seasons ago? Cause, oh, jeez. But Neo Muna looks like it's going to be a very interesting, a very fun location, uh, to explore. I'm hoping it's as big as it looks, because this location looks massive. But, yeah, that's, uh... That's been the Neomuna environment trailer, guys. Again, if you guys um, catch anything that I miss, please make sure to put it in the comment section. I would love to know what you guys think of the location, obviously, any little tidbits that I may have missed. Again, if you guys want to go watch the original video, it will be linked down in the description of this video. If you guys made it all the way to this point, congratulations. Thank you guys for watching the whole video. Please make sure you leave that comment hashtag full watch down below. I'll shout you guys out on Twitter. Um, and yeah, so we'll have to see what more news comes with the Lightbulb trailer. We are almost about a month away. I think about a month and a week uh, until Lightbulb comes out. So we'll have to see what happens. But until then, guys, this is Man the Authority signing off. I'll see you guys next time on the back on your screens and in your faces.